attention. And now at the podium, Tom Reisner. Good evening, Australia. Great to have your company as we look back over another busy week. As always, we're joined by five eager-eyed news watchers who will be fighting it out for the title of most attentive team member. And what a team. <laughs> to Hollywood. And first it was writers. Who's gone on strike now? Emma. Us. Let's go, guys. No, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, it is the actors, Tom, yes. and what's quite interesting is the SAG president is Fran Drescher. Mm -hmm. He made an amazing speech, but it's quite complicated for her because her husband, Mr Sheffield, is a producer. <laughs> so it's... That would, that would be very... <laughs> very... Pete, I'll pay that the Screen Actors Guild. Oh, a dramatic week for veteran BBC presenter Hugh Edwards. What's he been accused of? Oh, um, he asked a teen for an illicit image of mm. themselves. Um... I think Bron's done enough there, Sam. Yeah, but also, did you want me to uh, tell everyone about that phone call during oh. the week where you rang me and you said, and these were the words exactly, <laughs> where's the line anymore, Sam? <laughs> want to mention. I'm going to go back. Bron, you, yes, uh, requesting... Tom, you've got to stop making these phone calls. He's going to bring them up. <laughs> Bron, I will pay that. Requesting explicit photos from a teen and everyone at the BBC suspected it was Hugh, but they were careful oh, no. not to use oh, his oh, name. The BBC is in the middle of another crisis and big questions are being asked. Again, about who, who knew... <laughs> who. I think got away with it. Got away with it there. All right, another week, another breach of royal protocol. What did Joe Biden do to King Charles? Emma. Wet Willy. <laughs> the only thing about a wet Willy with Prince Charles, you can actually do it with your whole fist. <laughs> <laughs> no. What did uh, Joe Biden do to King Charles? Didn't breach of protocol. It touched him on the back. Touched him on the back. You do not touch the king. Speaking of not touching the king, Queen Camilla was out and about. <laughs> Go with it. No. Queen Camilla was out and about. Hello. Uh, is this your first? Yes. Who was she meeting? Ron. Some dorks. <laughs> Very harsh. Sam, who no, was... Well, I think they are all ball kids mm. for Wimbledon. Mm. And she was asking them, I think she said, is, is this your first uh, time you've ever uh, met a talking horse? Is... <laughs> No, no, no. You know, Sam, I will pay that. They are, in fact, ball kids from Wimbledon. Well, the world's richest man has been busy. Elon Musk has launched a new artificial intelligence startup called. Called what? Uh, Ask Jeeves. Is. <laughs> Good. No, it's. Jeez, a... what an old reference. Ask <laughs> <laughs> Jeeves. Hey, Sam? What do you reckon, Sam? <laughs> no? okay. How would you describe Ask Jeeves to um, to anyone under the age of 50, Ed? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah. It was like... You just said you don't know what it is. No, I don't. But you were a You remember you were a teacher for yeah, many years. Yeah, I was. I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> we do need to move on. It's what is, what is Elon's new start-up called, Emma? It's XAI, mm -hmm. and it's not a start-up, it's his son. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it might, it might be his child, you're quite right. Hey, tell me, what are we looking at here? Ooh. Uh, Pete. It's a light snack. It's... <laughs> Apparently it's not. Sam. That's the death row meal of the Hamburglar. <laughs> <laughs> it should be. It should be. It... Yes, but I need some more context. Yeah, help me I out. think it went to... In Thailand, it's a new burger at Burger King in Thailand. Yes, indeed. It's 20 slices of American cheese. Uh, I'd, I'd read you the Thai name, but I'd, I'd get cancelled. So we'll just move <laughs> on to California. Oh, oh, my gosh! Why is that sea otter wanted by authorities? Emma. He punched Mick Fanning. Is... <laughs> <laughs> It's been doing something, Pete. He's been hassling surfers. He's stealing surfboards, apparently, and, and <laughs> this is true, and aggressive uh, behaviour. Oh, we got a first look at Hugh Grant's new film role. He's playing Emma. The flute. Well, OK, yes. <laughs> Technically, but I... Character, Pete. I can't wait for this Donald Trump biopic. It's going to be... <laughs> Yeah, he's got the skin tone. Sam. No, he plays the uh, the Joker's music-loving brother. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't, but it's a classic character, Bron. No, he just plays... He's just an oompa oompa, <laughs> standing in front of a flute, asking it to love him. Yeah, that's... <laughs> oh, thank you, Bron. 
I'll take the first part. Um, an Oompa Loompa in the new Wonka. Is that appropriation? No, Tom, it's playing an Oompa Loompa. But who are you, whose Where culture are, are you from, appropriating? Yeah. The Oompa Loompas. <laughs> you can't you get, what, you're not getting a real Oompa Loompa to play that anymore? I don't know how they're managing it, but Ron points to yours. Oh, this is interesting. A jury in the US has ruled that a handwritten document found in Aretha Franklin's couch in 2014 is... Is what? Uh, uh, the original lyrics for WAP is... <laughs> uh, we're closer to home, Emma. It was just an R-E-C-E-I-P-T. Is... <laughs> but we're getting closer. We're getting closer. But no, what, what have they said it was? T. Was it a will? Yeah, a valid will, because... Valid, yeah. The well, kids, amazing. The kids were... Who's all, hey, Pete, who's getting all your millions? Oh, whoever wins tonight. <laughs> <laughs> See how we go. Tom, Tom, would you like an interesting fact about Aretha Franklin? I'd love one, Sam. <laughs> Do you know that she was always paid in cash before a gig? Because? Because when she was growing up, she, uh, many of her uh, contemporaries... Sure. ..were, uh, they did the, did the job and then they weren't paid. <laughs> Dr. Tom Holland said it's the best thing he's ever done. What is he talking about? Emma. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't mean to brag. Hey, what's uh, what's he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Would be rude not to. Sam, what's Something he doing? Better than sex with both of them. <laughs> he got an indoor plant. <laughs> Not correct. Ed, help us out. I think he, he gave up drinking, did he? Got sober? Yeah, yeah, going sober. All right, these cinema goers in Miami got a surprise. Very special guest. <laughs> Who was the special guest? Pete. They were right the scream. It was actually Alec Baldwin, fresh from set. It was. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the zone. You're in the zone. It wasn't Alec, but it was Ed. Was it Tom Cruise at a Mission Impossible screening? It was, in fact. Oh. Did you it know was... he does all his own appearances? Uh. That's incredible. <laughs> a drug called Opil has been approved. For over-the-counter sale in the United States for the first time ever. What is Opil? Uh, Bron. Opil is a contraceptive pill, um, and they've got one for the morning after. It's called Oh Shit. OK. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Like first that. oral contraceptive over-the-counter. It's a good pill time. You just pop it in before you pop it in. It's good. <laughs> Emma. Can I sit up the back next week? <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll rearrange some seats. But thank you. All right, moving on. Interesting statement from basketball legend LeBron James. Lucky for you guys, that day is not today. That day is not today. What's he talking about? Emma. Tuesday. Is <laughs> technically true, but no. He's talking a bit more in a... Uh, he's not retiring at this he, stage. He's going to return he's... for a 21st NBA season. To Wimbledon, where Novak Djokovic lost the final and also had to endure this moment in the semi-final. Hendrons. Oh, wow. I mean, I've never seen that never seen wow. that before. Never seen that before. Seen what? Emma? Tennis. He's not a good commentator. He's... <laughs> No, something happened there. With Novak was caught on something, Pete. It's called hindrance. He's, he yelled throughout the, uh, the, the put the his opponent off. An extended grunt is the yeah. term. Pay that, Pete. Greece's most popular tourist attraction, the Acropolis, was closed on the weekend due to what? Ron. Fixing the roof. That's it. It's been a long, a long process. Emma. Uh, heat wave. Extreme heat. So oh. during the middle of the day, they shut it down. South Korea Zoo welcomed some new arrivals. Two new baby. Ron. They're adorable pandas. They're little pandas. Tourists are being warned to stay away from this Icelandic mountain due to the presence of what? Pete. Uh, I think poisonous gases, and I can't wait to see that episode of Travel Guides. <laughs> <laughs> pay, pay that, pay. It's a recent volcanic eruption. Lake Lugano in Switzerland has been found to have the highest concentration of what? Emma. Water. Well, <laughs> sadly, there's more than just water in there. There's it. Nazi gold? It's... <laughs> <laughs> Hell was that? Is it microplastic? 
<laughs> it is thank you, microplastics. Microplastic. Soft drink Sprite is getting a makeover. It'll no longer have what? Hey, microplastics. Yes. <laughs> well, and you kind of it relates to that, Emma. Liquid. It's all gas now. It's a, <laughs> what a drink. Uh, no, Bron. No, they're changing their bottle from green to clear, so yes. you can recycle it better. That's exactly it. Yeah. Peter Dutton celebrated a. Oh, we're out of time. I'll we'll leave you with a reminder of the need to pay attention to your co-host when introducing a new story. Well, there's some breakthrough technology that could help those struggling with hair loss. <laughs> <laughs> a little close to home. Good night, Australia. See you all next week.